What's up, friends? It is Jam O'Risen, and I just watched Pearl. It's a psychological horror slasher movie and the follow-up to X, which released earlier this year. If you didn't see X, well, it's an homage to classic slasher movies, but instead of a weirdo with a hockey mask murdering horny teenagers in the woods, it was about a demented sex grandma murdering horny 20-somethings who were shooting a porno on a ranch in the 1970s. I really liked X. It simultaneously embodied the classic attributes of the glory days of exploitation cinema and elevated them through Ty West's excellent filmmaking and a great performance from Mia Goth, who I am convinced is quietly one of the best actresses of her generation. This opinion is only cemented in Pearl, the origin story of that murderous sex granny when she was just a young gal on the farm. First off, I love the aesthetic. It's all 1920s wholesome cheeriness right down to the font. This creates a nice juxtaposition when things get horrifying. The film also pulled me in two very disparate emotional directions. One side of me empathized with Pearl as a girl stuck on a farm with her overbearing mother and paralytic father. She likes to escape to town from time to time, drink liquid morphine, and go to the picture show. Been there, baby. Been there plenty of times. On the flip side, not only do you know she's wacky in the brain box if you've seen X, but it's laid out pretty early on in this film as well that the girl just ain't right. She likes to murder animals, torment her father, have sex with scarecrows, uh, and it just ramps up from there. And this leads to both a major strength or major weakness of the film, depending on how you look at it. Pearl, the movie, takes a long time to heat up. Like, a really long time. It felt longer than the setup for X, which some people already found slow. Not including me, I thought the pacing was perfect, especially because the second half was so explosive. Pearl doesn't reach those heights, but it's also not really trying to. I don't think. The elements are there, people are gonna die, and they're gonna die in some fairly brutal ways while Pearl grins dementedly, but it never reaches the horror movie highs you might be expecting if you watched X. It takes a long time to reach a payoff that feels a little anticlimactic, if I'm honest. While I'm on the topic of minor complaints, I was also expecting a more thorough explanation of how Pearl became the person she was. Maybe the seed was planted with some horrible trauma or event, but nah, turns out she was just kinda messed up from the get-go. Eh, what are you gonna do? Any flaws in this film though are forgivable in light of the performance. This is a performance movie, and Mia Goth goes for the proverbial jugular. I believed her thoroughly. I believed she was frustrated with farm life and wistful for her imagined career as a stage performer adored by all. I also believed she badly wanted to get fucked. Sorry, but it's true, the character has serious sexual frustrations. Like I mentioned, Scarecrow. And after the murderous rage has taken control, her broken expression is like a mirror for the tone of the film itself. A dark, brutal dementia lurking under a cheery, unassuming skin. It's one of my absolute favorite performances of the year. Subtle at times and completely over the top at others, as befits the tone. And I'm happy that Ty West has found his De Niro in Mia Goth. I think they work really well together. She even shared the screenwriting credit. And supposedly they're already working on Act 3, which is a sequel instead of a prequel. Sounds to me like a superior trilogy. Uh, and that's Pearl. I liked it less overall than X. It just wasn't quite as wild, and I missed the explosivity of that finale, but I can still recommend it based on everything else, if it sounds fun. Just settle in, enjoy the slow burn, luxuriate in the performance, and it's a pretty solid horror movie. And I'm done. That's it. Be well out there in the madness, my friends, and with any luck, I'll see you soon. Jammo out.